Hey guys, Tina here and welcome to another reading vlog. Uh, today is Tuesday. Uh, yesterday I posted my last reading vlog, so I'm sort of like a day behind if you want to go in a week's frame, I guess. But that doesn't really matter because yesterday I didn't read anything, so really nothing to update you in that uh, regard. But today I did start listening in to the uh, Stone Sky by A.K. Jemison, which is book three in the Broken Earth trilogy. Uh, I read the first two books during one readathon to rule them all and uh, i sort of enjoyed them the fifth season the first book was sort of eh, okay uh, i did like the Albus gate a lot more because i felt that there was actually stuff happening because the fifth season felt more like a setup uh, but anyways this is a dystopian series uh, in which earth is what i feel it's taking place on earth anyways it could be another world i don't know but uh where Earth uh, is, well, far into the future and it's, you know, has this, this, these different seasons. Like there's, I don't know, currently there's the fifth season, which is a season of catastrophes. There's a volcanic eruptions, tectonic plates are moving, so there's a lot of earthquakes. Um, there's uh, ash in the sky and people are just basically doomed. And we follow a bunch of characters and uh, people in this world are pretty diverse. Um, regarding there some are able to actually control tectonic um, movement i guess and uh some people are afraid of that some people control them and yeah it's a pretty diverse cast um and so far i'm really just began listening to it so i cannot actually tell you much about it the first chapter the prologue was slightly confusing so i'm probably gonna Oh, maybe re-listen it or maybe not i don't know how i feel uh, how i will feel about it anyways but with these books you actually have to focus because if you don't you miss a whole lot of things i think um but yeah that's uh, the one book that i'm going to listen to this week i feel that lately listening in to books is basically the only way i get through them at least in a reasonable amount of time because otherwise i just don't pick them up uh but i will try to read one this week and that is actually this one, A Court of Frost and Starlight, and these names are just ridiculous. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Um, what is it actually, the acronym? Echo. Echo Fast? Whatever. Anyways, uh, this just came in the mail yesterday, and it's a short novella from this world that we all know, or at least we have all heard of it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's not a single person on Booktube that has not heard of this series anyway so uh i do like it it's i don't know nothing special but it is enjoyable so i'm looking forward to seeing more of these characters and there's we follow actually uh we see it's from different points of view so it's going to be interesting seeing some that i think we have like not read from at least not in the first person or is it written in the first person i don't even know yeah it is it's fair and recent and uh, then we have oh it's just them okay i guess mm. okay you know it's i guess it's that moonlighting syndrome you know when the couple gets together and suddenly i don't care about them anymore <laughs> so i really don't care about these two all that much i mean i loved uh, a court of uh, mr fury that was great but then in what was the last one i don't know the third one i, I can't remember a court of wings and ruin I just like, uh, I don't care about you. Go have sex, whatever. I just couldn't care less, honestly. So, uh, and on another note, I, I'm not really sure if I care about the other characters. I mean, as couples, you know. I mean, I don't like Nesta. I don't like Elaine. I like Cassian and I like Ezreal. So I'm not really sure if I want to burden them with these two females or whatever combination there's going to be, you know. But anyways, so yeah. Uh, I guess we'll see because I think there's like a short preview of the next book in the series. So um going to learn more about that once I get there. But yeah, anyways, there's a lot of me chatting about nothing. So um, yeah, until I actually have another update, reading-wise, I'm going to leave you alone. Move it, move it. Hey guys, so it's Thursday and it's time for me to update you slightly on my reading progress, which is barely existent. Uh, anyways, yesterday I didn't, I don't think I read anything. I, uh, I did actually, yeah. So 
But right now, I just came home from a run. I decided to go for 4K today. Yesterday, I did two, and then I swam in the evening. And the running part was really easy. Well, the swim too, but uh, I thought that since running yesterday was pretty easy, uh, you know, 4K would be okay today. But I think that the combination of swimming and running was sort of a bit much, and um, today it was a bit harder. But I did like the trail better because this one is a bit more uh, hilly, and I just love running uphill for some reason it's i don't know i guess it's just more exciting than just running in a straight line and i like that it's killing me but i like it anyways during my run i listened to the stone sky this book here and um i didn't get too far yet um we are learning a lot more about the past i feel uh, at least that's how I'm gonna, maybe i'm confused but i think we're learning a lot more about the past and um, right now it's again not gripping me yet, but I really decided that I'm not going to listen to it while running again because I just have to focus a lot while I'm listening to this book. So music and a uh, more upbeat tempo is better for that. So um, I will find other opportunities to listen to it, uh, but while running it's going to be music or another book, whatever. But that's my reading of it so far as i said i'm i'm not sure i'm like three four chapters in so not far at all uh things are our characters are changing again it's uh they really have a lot this great arc actually throughout the three books it's quite intense and as i said we're learning about the past how the world came to be how it is and we're also moving towards the goal of what the goal is i can't say <laughs> spoilers uh but yeah uh i sort of feel that what their mission is i i think i sort of know why they have to do it and how that would help end the seasons um but uh, i guess i'll have to read the book to see whether or not i'm right but i also got a package in the mail did i show my dress damn it anyways uh package in the mail and i honestly cannot remember what this is but it's something huge because it's just an enormous package and let's see i've never done an unboxing or whatever on my channel oh, i know what it is well wow. even got two bookmarks of course it's a huge thing there's a receipt and i just love this aversion this cover i just love it it's the queens of innis Lear by tessa groton i've read an excerpt preview uh, of this book and i really enjoyed it uh and i've heard mixed reviews since then but i just love this gorgeous cover it's so so blue and gold. I just love this combination. I prefer it. I actually like the US version as well, but um, I don't know. This one is just better, in my opinion. And the, the spine, the naked spine is beautiful. Love it. Let's see. Oh, wow. Look at that. Gorgeous. Wow. Um, anyways, I didn't read a lot of it in that preview, but uh, what I did intrigued me enough to actually give it a go. I still haven't read King Lear. And I'm thinking I'm probably not because I honestly don't know whether or not it's translated into Slovene and I really don't feel like reading Shakespeare in its original English, old English. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure I would even understand it. So, um, yeah, I'll just give this one a go, I think, and enjoy it. I just wish my reading mood was better because, I don't know, I just, I don't find the will to read, the interest to read, and I'm just so saddened by that. Um, I am sort of pushing through. I mean, I'm still, if I was not listening, I would not probably read anything, but I'm trying to push through. And I know it sounds silly when I say I, I do read like two books a week on average. And I know that's a lot for some people. That's really a lot, but I, you know, just the enjoyment is not there as much as I would like it to be. So I think that's, you know, why I'm complaining. It's not that I'm not reading because I am, but just I just miss that joy of really loving a book, of really getting gripped by it and just enjoying the hell out of it. And um, yeah, I haven't really enjoyed a book this year in a few months, I think now. I mean, there were some great books that I read, don't get me wrong, but still, it's just mm, sad. Anyways, enough of this whining. Um, hopefully, I will be back with an update to today, tomorrow, hopefully, yeah, sure, but today even would be better, but yeah, until then, um, I'm gonna go take a shower because oh, this is just terrible. So I listened to more, uh, some more of The Stone Sky, and I'm really starting to enjoy this book. We're basically following these two characters that are connected, but their paths 
are not aligned uh, they have different goals and that they're following and pursuing and um, they have personal conflict as well so basically their whole situation is just about conflict and I am really starting to be intrigued by how this is gonna get resolved are they gonna solve their problems their issues are they gonna be able to uh, overcome them or is there just gonna be a big clash at the end and one of them is gonna die I, I'm, I'm just really uh, I'm really intrigued by the story I really don't care for one of the characters honestly but still uh, the whole situation is very interesting and I'm looking forward to seeing how what happens basically um aside from that i went to ring shopping today and uh, a while back i got this ring uh, i know this a sculptor lady that uh, creates rings silver rings and i bought one of her rings and then i realized that uh, this uh, uh, other person that i know uh, has a really similar ring because they're from the same series so i decided that you know it's gonna be just uh, I want my own ring basically and I decided to exchange it so today I went and I found a different one from a different series and it's slightly too big so I left it there so she can make it fit better um, but I'm really looking forward to having it and once I do get it I'm gonna show it off of course and it's from a series called um, a dragon rings so that's gonna be very fitting because I am <laughs> I can be a dragon I guess Although, well, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe that's just my imagination and I'm just not like that at all. Although I feel like everybody is sometimes. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm just so happy about it. I, I'm liking this book. I love the ring and I'm just so... It was a good day and a good evening. I went out and it was just... I had a great time. Uh, but yeah, now I have to take care of my dog. Uh, and then after that, I think I will try to read some more or listen some more or i'm just gonna watch some videos right now i'm obsessed with van conversions we know people uh, for a while back it was tiny houses now i'm just into vans that people convert so they can live in them and i'm just so fascinating basically not i i don't see myself living in a van but i'm just like just like organization wise uh, and just how they convert them i just that intrigues me so much and i'm just they look great and I would totally have it you know like a van like that instead of an RV uh, I, but really living in it probably not <laughs> but anyways um, I will update you more I guess tomorrow now and um, yeah hopefully I will read some more and probably not finish the stone sky but I would like to get as close to that as possible so it's Saturday afternoon and I finally finished at the stone sky by ak jimison uh i ended up liking it um there were definitely parts that i enjoyed more than others uh my favorites were i think just learning about the backstory how the world came to be the way it is now and um how that affected everything basically that we learn in the story um what else i i'm quite pleased with the ending can you even see it wait okay i should be back here <laughs> anyways i quite liked the ending in a way i um in a way i felt that it was resolved too quickly uh and that um <laughs> that um i don't know i just didn't expect one of the characters to react the way uh they did uh but aside from that i i think i like the ending it's sort of optimistic which is good in a story like this we need that and it's also sort of feels like this book is a bit prophetic um you know given what we're doing with uh, our planet and everything um and what we're capable of doing because we are just insane uh but yeah all in all i liked it as a whole trilogy i did enjoy it for the most part uh there were definitely a few parts here that sort of went over my head and i just with listening to books, as I said, there's always a problem of concentration with me because I don't always pay as much attention to the story as I should and then I just sort of am sometimes slightly lost. Um, and, you know, I think this is a story that really you should pay attention to because things happen, things are said and explained and if you sort of don't get it, then you will 
I don't know, maybe just miss it and won't ever get it necessarily. Or, you know, some things you can connect, of course, but still. I'm just babbling here, but all in all, it's a good trilogy. I I feel like I should reread it at some point, so I will be keeping it. Uh, I liked it enough that I, I will keep it, and I think that it's definitely worth a reread. If it's Nebula worthy, or no, what, what did it get? Not Nebula, Hugo Award winning. I don't know. I don't know if it's different enough. I don't know. I just I didn't like it that much, but um, I guess other people did, and it's a really a loved trilogy. So um, who am I to say anything other than that? And now I'm finally able to focus on this one, which I haven't even started. Really, wait, I'm in the middle of the first chapter, and given that it's already six o'clock here, and apparently uh, some neighbor's gonna come by and for a chat or, or something like that. I'm not even sure, and. I'm not sure how that, that you know, how long that's going to last because she is chatty. <laughs> uh, so, you know, uh, a five minute chat can last an hour or more. So, I don't know. Uh, but hopefully this, I would like to read this during the weekend. Again, not sure because tomorrow I'm also going for a hike or just, you know, outside of the house somewhere. So that's going to last a while and I don't know. Hopefully it will get done. I mean, it's... it's <laughs> should be because it's a fast read but still anyways that's uh, it for today's update i don't think that i will be updating you today again uh, but um hopefully tomorrow i will have some good news regarding my reading Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. It's Monday again. It's time for me to wrap up this reading vlog. And uh, I have to report that yesterday I was not productive at all, not reading wise, anyways. I went for a hike in the morning and I returned like mid afternoon. And I attempted, I attempted, I tried to read, to start two books actually. The one, one was. Neither of them was A Court of Frost and Starlight, <laughs> which I claimed that I was going to read. Um, but the one was um, Hate to Love You or Hate to Want You, something like that by Alicia Rye. It's this romance novel about this couple, Romeo and Juliet, like that, um, I guess, gets together. <laughs> uh, I'm not exactly sure because I only literally got like two pages in and I returned it because I got it on my Kindle and I just you know, return it for refund. Uh, I saw this book actually on Riley Marie's channel. She mentioned it in one of her vlogs and I figured, you know, romance novels and slums really go well together and maybe this one's gonna help me read a bit more, but mm, no. Uh, I just couldn't find interest in actually reading it. And the other book that I tried to read was Stand By Me or Stand By You. I suck clearly at, at remembering titles, but anyways, it's by Casey West. I got this as a Kindle uh, on a Kindle as well a few days back. It was some sort of a deal when it was pretty cheap, and I said, "Well, everybody's always talking about Casey West. Uh, her books are supposed to be really cute and fun, and um, why not to give it a try?" And this one is actually taking place in a library, or at least it starts there, because these two kids get stuck in a library over a long weekend or something like that and uh, of course they don't really know each other, they don't really like each other. One is this guy who is basically a, a bad boy, he was in juvie for some reason, he lives with a foster family and I don't know, the girl is probably a good girl, I don't know. I got like two chapters in or something like that and uh, I just... I said, you know what, I just want my money back. It's not bad or anything, I, I can't say, but I just wasn't in the mood, honestly. If I ever want to read it, I, a Casey West book, at least that's probably one I would try, or I don't know, I don't know which one is the best anyways, but this one takes place in a library, so I figured, well, this is good, you know. I love books, um, usually, so that should uh, draw my attention, but... It didn't. Uh, anyway, so today's Monday, as, as I mentioned, and I have to wrap up this vlog. I want to edit it and post it and start a new one. 
this week I will try to really again this is my goal all the time to be more productive when it comes to reading um, I will try to push myself and do that and um, reporting a vlog perhaps I do have to film two videos one is a wrap-up and I still have to film that on haul thing I'm not sure whether or not I'm gonna do it this week I just the idea of actually setting up my camera and filming an official video is just so I don't I don't have the energy to do that so maybe one of them is going to be filmed on my phone I don't know but I, I definitely have to th film something because you know at least the wrap up that is due but anyways uh, thank you for watching this video and see you in my next one bye